The Philosopher's Stone was regarded as a myth within the Middle Ages. It was known as a mythical stone. Alchemists represented the Philosopher's Stone as a tool which had the ability to transform base metals into precious ones, such as gold and silver. There were certain mystics who used the Philosopher's Stone to name planetary celestials. This created a path in a series of stages, starting at Saturn and moving up to Jupiter, Mars, the Moon, then Venus, Mercury and the Sun. Reading and understanding context in an esoteric point of view, the story of Jacob's Ladder contains a far deeper truth which can be unravelled. Before Jacob falls asleep, he used the stone as a pillow. He had fallen into a dream state, which is the unconscious state. Basically, in a formless state, consciousness can reveal itself through dreams. The stone where Jacob had laid his head on has a strong correlation of a deeper meaning representing the Philosopher's Stone. In alchemy, it is a mythic alchemical substance. The question you have to ask yourself, who uses a stone as a pillow? Why would you position a stone like a pillar and pour oil over it? The metaphorical explanation sounds far more believable than a literal story. The gymnastics believe that oil poured upon the stone actually represented the oil of gladness. This substance leaks down your 33 vertebra. The Ladder of the Wise is a terminology used by the alchemists. They related this phase as the path to the Philosopher's Stone, which is known as the Ladder of Wise. The Ladder of Jacob separates of the Kabbalah, the Seven Chakras and the alchematic system they use as planets. The story of Jacob's Ladder is linked as a common theme with similar references linking to many different cultures and religions such as Buddhism and Hinduism. It's describing an alchemical process of reaching enlightenment. Jacob's symbolic ladder is the process that one must climb to reach the highest form of spiritual enlightenment. The seven senses within our DNA can be fully activated if we learn to purify our thoughts, habits and actions. Alchemists believe that the elixir of life could be derived from it. It is useful for rejuvenating and for achieving immortality. As Jacob's dreams unfolds, he wrestles with God. Now psychologically, this is referring to an internal battle which is going on within himself. These writings are speaking to the reader to confront their own psychological problems, which is the shadow self. Jacob states, I have seen God face to face and I called it Penel, which is known for the face of God. This word sounds similar to the word pineal gland, which is known as Ajna Chakra. In other terms, it can be seen as the third eye, the gate path for Kundalini to uprise the 33 vertebra of the spine. The representation of Jacob's Philosopher's Stone is a symbol of divinity. Gymnastics viewed the story of Jacob in different contexts compared to the religious ideologies. They classified it as a sacred description of the human body. Raising self-consciousness by ascending up Jacob's ladder which leads to the divinity for the soul to form itself. The spiral cosmic snake symbolizes our DNA. The divine life force which is an upward spiral Activating this sequence can be done during meditation.
The Philosopher's Stone is a symbol of psychological transformation. By overcoming changes and difficulties, this will change the DNA structure. This spiral form symbolically is a sacred divine representation. It represents the manifestation of the All-in-One, becoming and governing a full conscious being, spiritual is not being a light figure only. Spiritual is being in touch with your true self, acting upon your truth of feeling and being. They who live with this spiritual movement of self will undergo a certain development which is necessary for their journey. The intention to overcome fear by walking into the unknown, overcoming hardships and mental limitations. To reach a higher state of consciousness, you must learn to ground yourself. It is vital to communicate and connect with the universe. The truth of mortality is the wisdom of right action. Our actions is crucial to reach the higher consciousness. Believe it or not, you have to be mindful of what you are tuning into. For example, what music are you vibing to? What brand of frequencies are you participating in daily without consciously knowing? Sound creates vibrations and frequencies which can disfigure the mental and spiritual internal state. Realistically, it can be affecting your growth. The words you speak is energy. Are you creating a field of low vibration, creating a bad emotional state to others? Self-pride and ego is the downfall of most people. If you can perceive reality correctly, how do you expect to form any sense of real indication of obtaining any form of higher consciousness? The self archetype is a direct reference to the innermost nature of the subconscious mind. It is the immovable core of the root of the psyche. The self archetype does not change, grow old or suffer mortality. Therefore the stone comes to embody that sacred immortal peace upon which ego must learn to rely.